I'm a tuba judge. Hey, today is the last Friday of the year 2022. And this is going to be our last broadcast for the year. Now, like on Monday, I told you how grateful I am for every one of you that have been partnering with us, sharing these messages, giving of gifts and offerings, without us even making such demands. You just hear the Lord and you respond. When you do such things, it's only God that will reward you and bless you. It shows that you truly are in tune with the Lord. And you know, just like we share concerning giving, tithing, and the rest, you must listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Now, if every child of God does that, no child of God will go hungry. If we pay attention to what the Spirit is saying to us, especially where our giving is concerned, especially where the tithe is concerned, nobody will go hungry. See? So when we see you act that way, you confirm to us that you are a child of God. It means your Father can speak to you. Jesus said, my sheep hears my voice. So today I just want to say thank you. And may God open up 2023 for you like you have never imagined. I pray that the Lord will surpass every expectation you have in your heart going into 2023. 2023 will be a more than enough year for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, can we call for that daily bread? before we go into what I have in my heart to share with you today. Join me right now and say these words with every faith in your heart. Say, Father, I demand right now my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. I was sharing with you yesterday on the importance of praying for our nation. There are a lot of things we are not ready to hear. And the reason we are not ready to hear is because our hearts, our minds are not matured enough to receive it. And the reason your heart is not matured enough to receive it is because you have not been praying. So I've been praying. The content of your prayer will determine the kind of things God will share with you. Some believers only pray when they are in need. Some only pray when they are in serious trouble. So you see, their prayer is deliver me, give me, deliver me, give me. But I've always asked this question to believers. How many times have you decided to go on a fast because you did not understand the scripture you just read? How many times has that happened? You see, that's why you cannot compare yourself with someone like Daniel. Daniel will read the scriptures and it will drive him into fasting. And he will fast for 21 days because he read something from Jeremiah that he didn't quite get. God, come explain this thing to me. Jeremiah is saying the word of the Lord came to him. I believe Jeremiah was a prophet of God. But what is the meaning of this word? How many times do we do that? See that? Now, when you begin to be concerned about things like that, that is actually what it means to be concerned about the kingdom of God. That is what seeking the kingdom of God is. You are concerned about what what does God think? What is the meaning of this? What is the timing of this? He says, when that is your concern, All these other things that you would have been spending your time, give me, deliver me, will all be taken care of. This is the secret. When you are concerned about what God is concerned about, 
you deploy all of God's resources at your disposal. Every angel will know you. Every protection God has put around himself will be extended to you. Because now you are coming into the inner cackles of God. Now, understand what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not, you know, because sometimes when you talk like this, people tend to go so far, you know, and they begin to do, refer to what we call, you no know, rema, seeking rema, you know, and then you now want to start speaking like celestial beings and, hey, everything God is revealing has to do with us here on earth. Yes. So I'm not saying get spooky. I'm not saying get in, into talking. Now, definitely, there, is, there are some communications we may communicate and you will... What, what are you saying? If I tell you, for example, that all these candidates you're seeing contesting the election today, none of them will become the president. You look at me and say, what, what are you trying to say? If I said the person will be, that will be, in the, will be the candidate, as at <laughs> now, may not be in the ballot. And what are you trying to say? Can you explain further? Now, what you are seeking is trouble for yourself. Because even if I explain, now to me, I understand the why, the how. You understand what I'm saying? Now, the one that God holds to himself is the tiny. Now, this is where we all come in. When? Question is, are we ready? Have we made ourselves ready? Now, the whole nation doesn't have to be ready. But if God, you know, God said it, you know, um, he, he said it when he was speaking with Solomon. He said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. What did he say? He said, if they will turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven. I will heal their land. But it all starts from where? If my people will humble themselves. There is so much pride in the land. Right now, it's pride in our political parties, pride in our candidates. My candidate must win because he's my candidate. Your, my candidate is better than your candidate. All those things are pride. Lord, what are you thinking? How many of you have fasted and prayed and ask, not God make my candidate win. Because you think if your candidate win, at least you can. You know, even as simple as boasting to your neighbors and say, yes, my candidate win. Even though you don't know your, that candidate, you don't have anything to do with that candidate. But really, you don't have to. But then, if you think it is serious enough, have you personally fasted and prayed? Not God. Who? What's on your mind concerning our next election? What have you done? What have you spoken? That is where it starts from. Because anybody coming to give prophecies, it, you know, sometimes you know that that's why I don't I don't concern myself with those things. I don't concern about coming out to say hey, this is what is going to happen. Now, in, in in our meeting, like I told you sometime back last week, in our meetings, we have we we share these things expressly. We, we, this is what God's going to do. This is what the Lord has said. But then coming out to the public to say it, question is of what use? Just to create a sensation. Not necessarily. That's not what we want. We want a real change. And the real change, what is going to bring it, bring about the real change is what we do in private. So we'll keep doing what we're doing in private and we'll keep seeing the results in the open. We'll keep doing what we're doing in private. We'll keep seeing the results in the open. Now, when we see the result, everyone will be happy. Everyone will rejoice. And that's the reward of what you're doing in private. It's not for everybody to know that, oh, you're the one that prayed. No, 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 no. 
God says he wants us to live a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness. And that's what we want. That's what we want for our children. But I challenge you today. Pray. 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 I told you we have a prayer network that we have set up. And I would encourage you to join. It's interdenominational. I mean, where, and then you don't have to come wherever you are. All you need to have is Zoom application on your phone. We have a prayer room in, in, in Zoom where people are praying and, and every hour, the minimum time that each person prays is one hour. Why one hour? Because one hour, consistent praying for one hour every day at least is enough time for the Spirit of God to walk on your heart. Now that is where the thing is. For God to walk on your heart. It's not even to know. Oh, you know, you see, many times we God this is God is transitioning us into a greater country. God is moving us into the, the, the Nigeria of our dream. And God's intention is not for this nation to split. No, no, no. If it was, this nation would have split before today. It would have. But that's not God's intention. God has special purpose for us as one nation. And that's why he's been doing everything he was doing. He has been doing to see that this nation stays as one. And he will continue to do that. Now, the purpose of Nigeria is about to be unveiled. Lots of prophecies have gone forth concerning our nation. But right now, it is not prophets that this nation needs. Right now, this nation needs real teachers of God's word. Teachers who will teach, because prophets make you wonder. Teachers will teach, they will explain, they will tell you what you ought to do. Now, that's what this nation needs. And that's what we are focusing on. And God is raising some amazing teachers in this country. So listen to them. Take your own role. But before you start looking for which teacher or who next, look at yourself. What is my role? How do I know my role? Begin to pray. Take out a time every day, at least one hour, in the night or in the day. Choose a specific hour. Don't tell yourself, I pray one hour every day. Today I pray 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Tomorrow I pray 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. No, 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 no. Be consistent. Why is it important to be consistent? Now, consistency will cause the angel. Hear me? <laughs> See, that's why I say sometimes when we begin to talk these things, you, you, need, you need to wake up to understand. When you are consistently doing something at a particular time, it becomes your normal way of doing you're living you're living according to that pattern it is so easy for god to send an angel to you now you say but i have the holy Spirit. why do i need angel i see that's another problem lots of teachings need to be done what is the role of the holy spirit in our lives what is the role of angels in our lives i, I, I shared this message on thursday now if you have to we're trying to extract the message and see how we can present it to you. But then if you can search our YouTube or Facebook, our Facebook for Thursday, last week Thursday, go search for it and listen to that message. It will help you. It will really, really help you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Listen, our website is on your screen for the prayer, um, the prayer, um, 24 hour prayer meeting go there read join choose your hour when you register we'll let you know the hours that are available so you choose what is right but then you work it out make up your mind to be praying consistently you say this time to this time i'm going to be praying for nigeria and you come and pray in the spirit Pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. Soon, God will begin to 
ripen your heart where Nigeria is concerned. Informations from God will begin to come to your heart. Because you see, very soon, there's going to be a move of God that will shock everyone. So when it happens, you will not be part of those that are wondering what is going on. You will be part of those that are like, aha, now I understand what God has been saying. That's where you want to be. That's where you ought to be. Praise God. On this last broadcast, I charge you, pray for Nigeria. Nigeria is not going to fall. Nigeria is not going to break. But you need to align yourself in what God is doing. I'm not appealing that if you don't pray, something bad will happen. I already know God has taken charge of this situation of Nigeria. I know. And because we are praying, see that now. But he said, the more people that will line themselves up to the will of God, the easier the work is going to be. The more people that will line up with God's will because they have received the conviction in their heart. And that's why I'm telling you to go pray. 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 I'll sound it again. If this is what you're going to hear from me as a last message for this year, brethren, pray. Pray. If your church is not setting up a prayer program, join the one we have set up. John, just take your time and pray. Now, it's in a room. Why don't I just pray on my own? No, it's in a room because we're creating. In... Now, when you come into that room and you begin to pray, now there is an angel in charge of that room. He sees you and he notes you. So you, you cause now, that's, that's the thing about corporate prayer. When we do things corporately, it causes things to work faster, even in our individual lives. You see that? So join, pray, pray. And I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every one of you that have been praying and those of you that are going to join, you will begin to receive clear visitations from the Spirit. And I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, your portion for this new nation has been preserved. And the Lord will guide you day by day into the truth of these things. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I release grace upon your life. Don't be afraid. 2023 will be a great day, a great year. And the Lord will watch over all his, including you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much again for a wonderful 2022. The Lord will never forget your labor of love. Share this message. Keep sharing it. Those of you that have been sharing it. Keep making your comments. Keep sharing your testimonies also. God bless and reward you. Have a fruitful remaining one day. Yeah, just tomorrow. Tomorrow is 31st, and then we'll get into 1st of January. And have a happy new year in advance. I love you so much with all of my heart. God bless you. Bye-bye.